Sie hören Sport und Musik. In a world where fans fight over whether to call it football, football, or soccer, two German men defy the odds and call it Fußball. Bringing you inside the German-American Fußball experience. And now, here are your hosts, the Schnitzel Boys. Yeah, there we go. So you mute the whole time. I'm like, what's quiet? What's quiet? Welcome. Oh, I was on mute. It's okay. We've done this before. We're not technical. Uh, this is what I this uh, this happened last time. I I have to. I unmuted you last time. So oh. I had those hours, but it wouldn't let me do. I didn't realize what's going on. But it's okay oh, my because bad. The, the dude has a beautiful voice. You get to hear the raw file. Is, uh, I uh, I did the same last time. Now with the double with the double header, that I, I right. forget the second time to unmute myself. Maybe well, I'm setting. sorry. No, no, no. And I, no. you would those. think I had a I've had an hour to sober up. I'm not as uh, as uh, inebriated as I was at the beginning of the last the last well, one. So you would think I would get this together, but I was okay. also struggling with this hat, which doesn't really fully fit underneath this. Headphone. Anyway, there's no excuse. I should push that button. Well, no, I was going to say it's on the, our platform. They're, they're the ones who auto mute it all the time. Oh, yeah. So right. People need to hear our voices. There's no muting. Come on now. But anyway, welcome to the Shits of Boys. Yes. Ameri- America. The American Power edition. Hour. We got some edition. stuff. We got some stuff to talk last about. Year, last year, we had a lot of stuff to talk about. One game, but a lot of stuff to talk about. Last year, Bjorn Schnitzel went to the MLS Cup final. He reported. That's right. He was on the scene. He was there. This year, Stefan Schnitzel was on the scene. He was at the game live. Your Schnitzel boys are on the ground. We're on the scene. You read about it and hear about it. We're there. We see it. We hear it live. I was. I could smell Will Ferrell's aftershave drinking out of Oh, that could you really? No, that I was on the other side of the field. But <laughs> I was there, and I was at MLS Cup. Of the, weekend. the biggest game in American soccer, the, the, the 2022 MLS Cup Final, hmm. live on Fox. Ah, and it was <laughs> LAFC, the Billionaire Boys, versus the Union Blue Collar Workers. The Philadelphia Union of the little blue collar town and the your new your new caves. family your your the, adopted the, the your Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania Rust Belt. Uh, are you gonna Union. are you gonna Pennsylvania. pretend are you gonna now are you, now that they lost you're gonna pretend that didn't happen? LAFC <laughs> baby, Los Angelino right here. <laughs> LAFC all day. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, we got German fans. You know, what, Lucy Dortmund flew us in for a friendly or whatever. You know. Bandwagon or bandwagon <laughs> carpet carpet bagger. Band- All right, let's give some context. Let's give some context. Let's give some context. <laughs> I will. I said so. I wanna, we, there's so much to talk about. First so and much. Foremost, I mean, yeah. Let's just well, say you before you before you start. No, I'll just the just the, you know, like people always hype this game and. This one delivered. This one, this one, this this one delivered. But anyway, Eventually. please please go ahead. Eventually, tell us about your own personal journey. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about the game specifics later. The controversy is this. Okay, the controversy is this. It's no controversy. <laughs> there's, a, there's a little bit of controversy. Controversy, if you're if you're with. Damn lights over brightening me. Look at that. Look at how I'm turning me into the sun here. Let's go. Anyway, I'm sorry for the visuals. So. I really wanted to go to the MLS Cup. And I really wanted to see the New York Red Bulls play the MLS Cup, my club, my team. Hmm. But the New York Red Bulls are dying, quite literally and figuratively, <laughs> as our owner passed away. And then Oliver Mitzloff, the Red Bull <laughs> president of soccer, was relocated immediately to Red Bull Corporate. And he's out of sports. He's not the head of sports. He doesn't do sports anymore. He's hmm. now just the CEO of Red Bull, the drink. So now we're like, okay. People look around like, is what's going to happen? Yeah, I sports like what's going on? Yeah, I read a, I, I, I read a lengthy article in The Athletic about this. What's going to happen now after his death? And 
And really, the the TLDR was nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Who knows? But anyway, that relates to New York Red Bulls because we've essentially been a dead franchise for almost a while now, <laughs> seemingly. But anyway, long story short, Red Bull, we had a good season, but we did it with the lowest budget in the league and blah, blah. I did a whole video on it. We don't have to go into that. But the MLS Cup final was happening here in L.A., my town where I live. So I got tickets. And, and, and the way ticketing works is it's an MLS event. So they take care of it. All of the ticket holders, all the season ticket holders from LAFC, which I'm not one because I'm a neutral, I'm not neutral, here in LA. And uh, they all got four <laughs> tickets each. So they bought up the tickets and they sold them at $600, Bjorn. $600 for a nosebleed seat. Mm-hmm. I am a, I'm a blue collar worker. I, mean, I work graveyard. Last night, my shift was nine hours long because of daylight savings time and i was wondering why it felt so long and wondering why my phone oh, said two o'clock wow. twice oh that sucks yeah. yeah or two nights ago but anyway you know that's me so i can't pay i can't pay so i have to figure stuff out so i go on the philly union page because i was really hoping nycfc would be there so my friend bjorn could hook right i could have hooked you up we got we got to, uh last year i paid 35 dollars for my oh. and that was the and that was the those were the fancy ones we had two options we had like a or maybe i may be misremembering maybe the fancy ones were like 55 anyway two digits no problem yeah anyway so i got the cheapest to get my hand on through a through a, an organization called philly travel packages or something like that it's an official i think, company I think you're that, i think uh, you're you're downplaying well anyway please tell your I version and i will <laughs> They sold me the cheapest ticket they had, which was just the game with a tailgating party for two hundred and fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. I bought it because it's like once in a lifetime when I'm going to MLS Cup again. I'm in town. I want to go. Uh, it was that's how cheap as it was, by the way. It was technically one hundred twenty five dollars for the tailgating party and one hundred twenty five dollars for the game. I slept in. I just went to the game because it was early. It's at noon. I'm, I'm going to go to a bunch of strangers and drink a bunch of beer at nine in the morning. I mean, yeah, I would, but not this weekend. I just wasn't feeling it. <laughs> and I, I, so, but the whole time I uh, trolled Bjorn because, like, <laughs> right. I know I'm not supposed to be there. I know I'm not really a Philly fan. I know it's not my section, but neither is anywhere else. It's about, it's like 80% LAFC fans, 20% Philly. I'm just some neutral who wants to watch a game. I'm from Philly originally. I love Philly. I, you know, I was happy to be there. I, I, uh, so I was I was in the standing room only yelling and singing section for like 20 minutes. I was not about that. They had a giant empty part of their section, if you saw. Wild. And all it was was yeah. one lady. It was one dude waving a flag, which we, we'll get into that in a bit. And one lady only looking at us. Being like, let's go, and the union are marching, and sociopaths, <laughs> me, sociopaths. I just don't get that. <laughs> to have the MLS Cup final be hot with the game on your back, and you look at the fans. Well, I, mean, I can. What job is that? I've, we've I can. Uh, I can yeah. report. I can report from the Eastern Conference final that there was a, a significant amount of people. Uh, in Philly, who were just there to look to yell at us? They also were not looking at the game; they were just looking at us and telling yeah, us what they telling us what they what they thought of us. Now, yeah, there's I know, also uh, I know on the NYCFC forums, it's nothing but people making fun of Philly. There is a real NYCFC Philly thing going on, isn't there? Well, I they're, they're not. I mean, they're, they're going they, at each other. There's a rivalry happening, right? Something's happened between NYCFC and Philly. Philly is your bogey team. That's it why wasn't it, it it wasn't uh, it wasn't traditionally because we really I think overall especially before this game last week I would say we have hurt them more than they have hurt us Histo- you know we've had some we've had a lot of success uh against them in playoff situations a couple times we've knocked them out of the playoffs we've won there a few times our first road whenever was there so it's it's Historically, I would say they were, but they were so obnoxious all year after this COVID thing, you know, like we're constantly, I mean, the first time they beat us this year, this season, they came to Yankee Stadium. We were on short rest because we had played Champions League 
and they they won that game and they just celebrated as if they had uh, won World War Three. I don't know. Like they they it was just and all year there was this COVID this COVID conspiracy. Oh, we would have won MLS Cup for sure if we had had our whole team. Blah 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 blah, blah all all year long. And then you know, last week they were pretty mean to us overall. And, and then so, what happened? And then what happened when they had their full team? I mean, come on, hmm? let's be real here. Well, I mean, they squeaked one. They, they squeaked. They squeaked one. Squeaked one out, but they did not win MLS Cup though. They that was always the implication oh, that they but... would have, they would have gone on. They would have gone on to win it all. And so, I don't oh, know. They, I don't they, have. Were they, man, were they manhandled over the weekend? Was it really one sided, three nothing super destruction? I mean, what happened over the weekend? It doesn't matter. It's like did they win. We'll get into that in a second. But anyway, so I know it struck nerves of you. I was just there to watch the game. So I was there, hopping over twenty minutes, and I went and I just sat in that open area just by myself, and I missed the freaking first. I mean, also, goal because also flag they keep boy. This flag boy was flagging oh, in front of me, and literally I was like, "Yo, get the flag out! I'm watching the game." So I missed That's the first crazy. goal because yeah. of that. And then I had my I mean, eyes. also, you're, you're the, that section was pretty empty, right? Like, that's the other. Like, they keep telling us, oh, we're a plastic team or we don't have a... We we bought up every every ticket that was available last year. In I the... think they did that on purpose, though. Like, uh, the, the Philly fans filled up five sections, which was pretty impressive because if you come from Philly to L.A. Five sections? Just, okay. Yeah, three upper bowl, two lower bowl. I can share a photo. But like, and they were all there cheering. Like, there was a crew like flying in. Those packages were like fifteen hundred dollars packages. They flew in. They played the Omni Hotel. Like, you know, a, a decent from from the opposite side of the country. I, I'd say that's pretty impressive. It was still mainly well, LAFC, we had it's we had two thousand. We had two thousand people. And uh, Bjorn, <laughs> who cares? That was a year ago. Uh, it's, I, I, I love this. I know, but I just think it's funny. You have this NYCFC Philly fans. <laughs> Who cares? I mean, I, did Philly have two thousand people? Maybe not, but you know, maybe one thousand. I, I don't know what the official count was, but they had a decent little crew there represent. You know, uh, they were only given the three sections they were given, and yeah, there was a big hole. But I think that was for the reps to do their thing. I don't know what was going on. All I know is that they were there. The whole off-field stuff, I really don't care. You know, uh, 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 you know me. Like people want to criticize your own, like. As a New York Red Bulls fan, I get criticized all the time for being owned by an energy drink. It's like, dude, stop, don't be a baby. Rich people own sports franchises, and we, the rabble, go pay for the tickets. That's how that works. LAFC <laughs> is owned by Larry Berg and Matt, Will Ferrell. A bunch of rich guys got together and did a corporate investment and started a team. Philly Union, Jay Sugarman, he's a lawyer or whatever. You know, NYCFC has got the, you know, they got their oil corporate corporation, you know. Or the government, UAE, or whatever. Like you, you the r rules are: billionaires own our sports teams. Stop pretending, like 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 one is clubs are one is uh, one is significantly uh, better than yeah. than the other. Right, the other. Right, right. Stop pretending like some of these teams were started because it was an idea, and they started kicking the ball around, and then the mayor is like, "Hey, you guys deserve a stadium." Like that's not how this happens. Each and every single certainly MLS not club. A, certainly not in America. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely not in America. And I'd argue anywhere else. Even in Germany, it's a little bit of an illusion. I would argue. Um, but but anyway, you know, even the Green Bay Packs. Like everyone talks about the Green Bay Packs being a, a people-owned team and blah blah blah. But it's like you know, it's just uh, uh, maybe that's a little bit of an illusion. How much say do the fans really have? I don't want to get in that soapbox. So the whole like people criticizing other people's owners. Two, all owners are the same in principle as far as they're all billionaires. And B, like fans can't choose how engaged their owners are. We live in a city. We have an owner. You know, like uh, 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 if you're a Colorado Rapids fan, they would love to have an, an engaged owner. They would love for Stan Kroenke to show up. They would love for that. They, that's what they deserve. But it's just not happening. And you can't blame the fans. So I don't love that kind of rhetoric. There's the same way I don't love how, how fans throw stuff on the field, and I don't love, you know, like the whole game, LAFC and Philly were flipping each other off, which I thought was funny. But as long as after the game they're allowed to drink and shake a hand, it was good to go. In my section, two LAFC fans were just going at each other because one flipped the other one off. There was a game going on, but they were about to just go to blows with each other. It's like, 
man, where's the love, man? We're all here loving American soccer. And this Justin Bieber is there. Sia is there. June Endo from the Angel City FC is there. Rob McElhaney is there. Colin Hanks is there. Will Ferrell is there. You know, we're having a fun American soccer party. Okay. So it was really fun to be there. Uh, now, you know, I mean, so so I'm just trying to defend myself as a dude who just wanted to go to the game. I had no options. I hung with Philly. The second half, I snuck down the lower bowl and got myself a really nice seat right behind the goal there and watched it with the LAFC fans. And every time they scored a goal, I clapped. I shook my neighbor's hands. I was happy for what's going on. But as a neutral, I didn't really feel deeply I, one way or the other. You know, uh, uh, I should have been in the press box or something. Or, or I would love to have gotten my hands on a neutral ticket if it weren't freaking $600. I just can't pay that for a ticket. I'm sorry. You know, $600, that's how much World, I mean, the World Cup final is $600, not the MLS Cup final. Oh, but, it, it certainly is not. But okay, yeah, no. For the nosebleeds, for the nosebleeds, maybe, do you think? For the nosebleeds? I don't think probably. you can get into the World Cup final for a three digit amount in 2022. Really? Yeah. All right, well, I need to make more money. Anyway, so that's <laughs> that. I want to say that. I mean, what are your th- all right. rebuttal to any of that? You have any rebuttal to any of that? I know it's trolling you. I sent you a no, photo. No, no, you were. Uh, I, uh, I sent you a video of me singing with the union fans, being with my family, because I know they specifically piss you off. But then the second half, I sent you a photo of me and the LAFC fans. It's singing just a very my new family. I was just. Uh, I mean, I was just making fun of your your unprincipledness of like, oh, I'll be a Philly fan if I could save a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> uh, I, I say like, three hundred. I'll support. Uh, I'll support Mussolini if there's a free buffet. Yeah. <laughs> but in my defense, I wasn't a Philly fan. I was just in their section for the first half, sitting by myself in front of all of them, looking at this crazy lady with crazy eyes, being like, "And the we the Union got marching in," and I'm like, "Lady, there's a soccer game happening behind you. Watch, Turn the check it out around." Am I wrong here? Like in Germany, they don't have people like that, do they? Well, no, they do now. Unfor- yeah, they do now, especially for the row. Yeah, this has be- this has really um, uh, what's the word also, I'm looking for? Matt, it's 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 Matt. it's it's infested. It's infested the game worldwide. This like sort of constant singing. You have to sing all the time. You can't react to something that's going on. There's a whole it's- program. People who are standing with their back to the game conduct it all yeah nycfc doesn't do that just saying we don't have copos u.s soccer does it i hate it we don't uh, have but, well, yeah. mad respect to, mad respect to michael who waved his flag through the penalties who waved his flag whole time the whole game mad respect to michael doing that waving the german flag the all whole right. game god i do not have we're the arms still for that. we're okay. still we don't still still don't fully understand why but but uh but he's doing hey, it. Hey man, show your pride. Show your. Pride. I mean, he's, he's very pride. He's so very. Uh, he's he's very consistent. Like every time. I mean, I, I every time they show that side, he's the that flag is going. Telling him. I looked at I, it all like, time. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It waves and waves and waves. It's like I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that as a job. I don't think if you offered if you offered me money to do that, I'd be like, no, that seems hard and kind of. I don't know. It's no. But yeah, he's you mean he's, like one uh, of those guys on the corners with the whole like holding their signs, being like insurance this way or whatever, or restaurant this way. I mean, it's just it's hard. Well, I can't say that I've done it recently, but I would imagine waving a flag is physically demanding for for two hours. It is for me. And right, you're so not to, and you're not watching the game when you do that the whole time. No, 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 right? No. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm just the one to watch the game. And it's so funny how people call it the best MLS game of all time. There was a lot of really fun moments, but I'll tell you, up until that first goal. Yeah, the first half was pretty uh, was pretty dry. Yeah. Uh, and then also the goal was like it was like a sneaky goal. Like a, it was there it were a lot of I I, I, I I was texting this to to a friend of mine. Um I guess this was before overtime, but it's like, you know, it's a big final. I mean, all these goals were sort of cheap. It's like you, right. you, there's a lot, all this build up, and it's kind of very standoffish. And you talk about the midfield and how these teams are set up, and who, and then it comes down to like pinball. one, one, yeah, pinball. One ball bounces off off a, a wall, and then there's a header off a corner. And then it's like, yeah, it was, they were they were some. Uh, I mean, it was certainly exciting, especially towards the end. But they, yeah, it was also it was also kind of illustrating how soccer really is a weird game sometimes well, you know there's so much 
so much tactics and so much talk about uh, uh, setup and and contrasting teams and styles and players and then it just kind of yeah Kellen Acosta pings a free kick off some guy's head I don't know it's just funny well it goes to show you this sport like, like to measure the success of a team boiling it down to 90 minutes is not a great way to to explain how dominant a team is you know what I mean like a yeah. lot can happen and like it's just so much pressure to boil into this one game and it's right. like, you know, yeah, soccer, yeah. Yeah, you know, soccer games are soccer games. Sometimes they're zero zero. Sometimes it's a one nothing slog. You know, it's really about the seasons, about the strategy. So, but anyway, I love the fact that it was LAFC versus Philly. They both were great. They, they were, I, I would say the two best teams in the league numbers wise. And just, just in general, they're the two strongest teams in the league. They went at each other. Uh, they challenged each other. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's way too biased. Anyway, the bias is too strong. Well, Anywho, you're, you're you're a fan of every team except NYCFC. <laughs> I'm a fan of. I'm not a fan. I'm a neutral. <laughs> you're the only team neutral. I'm a fan of is New York Rebels. That's the route. Neutral. And Philly Union. I He's mean, a neutral, are you neutral in the neutral in the in the Philly Union food line. <laughs> <laughs> well. Philly Union beat teams seven nothing like a freight train. I mean, I can deny that they destroyed teams throughout the year. I mean, they were they were just ready to go. Um, you know, and LAFC talk about the, they they just had so much firepower. Again, they just had so much depth. Yeah, which which plays in this final. So anyway, later later the game it really goes off. They're going at each other. What is it? Two uh, one at the end, then two two at the death, and it goes in overtime. And, and it just felt like when you scored. It wasn't a lot of opportunities. It was not. It was a typical MLS. Well, Philly scored on all of their shots on goal, right? Right. And I think LAFC did too, right? Except for maybe one or two. No, it was just, they had a few. Yeah. What I'm Andrew, saying Andrew is Blake watching the game, few, so. watching the game was a lot of dealing down in the midfield. No one was really coming another goal. And uh, when they did, it was a goal. <laughs> it happened. Like, oh, he's there. Like, um, it was just, it was just an interesting feeling that way. Uh, and I remember when Philly scored their 3-2 winner, Jim Curtin ran on the field, halfway across the field, and looked to his fans and been like, yeah, he was celebrating the win. He was like, we're winning. And it felt that way. When Philly Union scored um, their goal. In, I think in, never in, it was goal. overtime. It was overtime stoppage time. It was uh, the fourth. In general. What I'm saying fourth, general. Minute of, fourth minute of stoppage time. Yeah. Whenever When LMC scored, I'm like, okay, it's LFC's game. When Philly Union scored, I was like, oh, maybe Philly Union's going to... You know, like, every time someone scored, it felt like the game was over. Because it wasn't a lot of back and forth. And then, yeah, like you said, uh, uh, four minutes left, they scored their their, 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 their winner. And then freaking injured-ass Gareth Bale. I was right in front of this goal. I was within, like, ten feet of this goal. It happened right in front of my face. So I saw the guy on the left coming down. I'm like, oh, he's going to catch that ball. He's about to catch it. He's just going to get that ball right before... It goes out. And there's only one guy in the box, Gareth Bale. I mean, it's going to be a long shot, it's a cross, but he's going to get it. He goes, he kicks it, great cross. But Gareth Bale is just such a pro. He's a world-class player. I know he doesn't goes like up and soccer, gets it. Yeah. but I know he's injured. I know he hates the sport and <laughs> I know all that stuff. But really he's like, you know, there's a header in front of my face. There's a, there's a, there's a, a Jack Elliott, the hero of the game, this English dude is a foot taller than me, means nothing to me. Because he went to West Virginia University, I'm a $111 million Real Madrid superstar. <laughs> and that's exactly what he did. He's jumped, placed it nice professionally in the box. Yeah, very much. Like, he's just a quality of player that I guess I've just, you know, you just don't see often. M- n- most players would have would have not gotten that header. But Gareth Bale is a pro. He's world class. He's like, all I need is the one chance. And he did it. Nailed it. 3-3. Three, three penalties. Uh, uh, and then, of course, the other big story is the LAFC keeper, yeah. Philly native, who was signed on a free, some obscure well, keeper. And, and, I didn't and, know who he was before today, honestly. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, John, Mac- John McCarthy. I uh, um, again, I can take credit. I can take credit for, for for predicting for predicting this in my in my group chat. I have I have the receipts, <laughs> where where. Uh, uh, my friend Mark was like, oh, it looks like Philly's going to win this. And I was like, no, this kid McCarthy is going to win it for them in penalties. Because he is, he did this a few times when he played for the Union. 
He was, uh, I mean, obviously they, you know this now, but at the time, in the U.S. Open Cup, right? I in the U.S. Came Open up, Cup, yeah. they went on a run, and he just has a knack for 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 PKs. He doesn't look like much that guy. He used to even he used to come come on when he was playing for Philly. He had that like headgear, like the Peter Check type sort of head helmet thing, and you were like, "Who is this kid? He's a little undersized, right? For a goalie, he's not particularly tall, but he understands." He understands the, the the PK thing. So when he came on, I was like, oh, that's because there was talk that they would sub him on anyway if there was right. a, a shootout because he, he has this 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 skill. But then Cropo, who's not going to the World Cup, right. broke his shin bone, my word, like in the right. worst way. Terrible, uh, uh, horrendous collision. I didn't even, I was on the other side of the stadium. I didn't even know what was going on. Yeah, it was tough. I didn't know was, until later you got a red they did card not, for they it. Didn't, they, yeah. didn't play the, they didn't play the replay, the replay on Fox because it was so gruesome. I mean, it was right anyway, into each other. Uh, yeah, lied, ran into each other. The game, after the game on the big screen, he live streamed in from the hospital and waved and stuff. So it was nice for him to, to touch mm. on. But yeah, he came. So Jack, uh, I, I keep wanting to say McGlynn. That was the Philly Union guy. Jack McCarthy. Right, John McCarthy or Jack John McCarthy is the goal. John yeah, McCarthy, yeah. and so he came in, and uh, Philly scored zero zero penalties. I mean, they scored a goal on him in overtime. It was a great save from him, and then yeah, someone got. I think Jack Elliott got the rebound. Jack Elliott right? got the rebound, so and that's when for Jim that's Parton when they to, thought that's when they thought they had won it. But then yeah, that's when I thought they had won it. Christian Bale came back to yeah. And I mean, Gareth it was wild. Bale. It was wild. Christian oh, Bale's Christian Batman. Bale's Batman. Uh, <laughs> Gareth Bale came back. Both Welsh, though, I believe, right? I think Christian Bale. Gareth Bale, Bale with the maybe leap. they're related. The leap, or is it just the leap of the leap of leaps? They um, probably are related, right? Christian Bale and Gareth Bale, two Welshmen named Bale, at least no fifth cousins or something. Probably. Anyway, anyway, Gareth so Bale, their like, grand, uh, grandfathers slept with the same sheet. Probably. Uh, Bjorn said, "Not I." Uh, but like Gareth Bale can't kick. Or I think that's his criticism. It's like fine, I'll head it. <laughs> you probably, if it was any lower, you wouldn't. It's have done just. It. I mean, it's just wild. You know, he's barely played. You're gonna be. I mean, those were the jokes, right? Oh, game right. winner, 118th minute, Gareth Bale, Gale, game winner, ha ha ha. But then you know, he he's did so it. talented that he can go to LA, play goal for six months, come off the field for ten minutes in a big game, score a big goal to prove he was here. He has proof now. If, if, if 50 years from now, you're like, hey, Gareth. And also, like, and I also, uh, uh, also, when he was celebrating, you could read his lips and he was saying, vamos, to the fence. So it's uh, like he even he even picked up a little Spanish finally. In, <laughs> in, in well, Los that's Angeles, the joke. He spoke great in Spanish. In Los Angeles. His, his inaugural press conference was done in fluent Spanish. That was sort of a big finally, yeah, nephew no, to Real Madrid. And he loves seeing Kellen Acosta. And Gareth Bale have that moment. But I mean, that. that's also, that's the beauty of MLS, right? You have right. this international superstar, Gareth Bale, like you're saying, 111 million guy. He scores the equalizer, but they to win the penalty kicks, they need fucking John McCarthy. I don't know what his salary is. It's not oh, 100, not it was a great tweet. $110 million. God, I wish I could, I need to quote the guy, but he's like, only in MLS could you have hundred uh, is the MLS Cup final. The two heroes are a hundred million dollar a year Real Madrid yeah. superstar and a keeper who played for the Ocean City Nor'easters. For the Ocean are the City, two Nor- MVPs yeah, that's are right. The two stars of the final. Well, and that I thought baby. also also ironic, right? Ironic that uh, uh, you know the Philly fans every time Andre Blake touches the ball, they have the MVP MVP, MVP. chance. And MVP. the actual MVP of the final was his former his former backup that they the let go. Was, was on the bench. Now I'm telling you, this game had a lot to it. So it was a like lot said, going it on. Did, it did lift off in the second half and a great ending to it. I, I was glad to be there. It was a fun day. Afterwards, and I I, uh, I would have to yeah yeah. And I mean, I definitely um, much deserved by either team, but LA. So so that so so anyway, LA won this game because they were hosts. In my opinion, like it, no, it was a game. LA of won this. Margins. LA won this game because Philly choked. LA won this game because they were down by the fans. It was a fun environment. What I'm saying is, so what you're saying is, is let's say we rewind the beginning of the season, and MLS commissioner is like, the first tiebreaker is goal differential. Let let's sliding yeah. doors this. 
That means that Philly hosts the final. Philly is the seeded team. They host the final. Do you? F- I feel if they hosted this final, they would be MLS Cup champions. Don't you think? Or do you think they would? I mean, well? take off I your MLS. I have no. I have no. Uh, uh, yeah, probably. I don't know. That's just. It's yeah, probably. It's hard to say. It's a game of margins, like the whole. I Gareth mean, Bale, this was a, other fans. It's a it was a close. Fans. Obviously, it's a, it was a obviously it was a close game. Um, but the, those penalties were pretty pathetic, though. Yeah, yeah. Philly. Daniel Gazdek slips. He can't even can't even stay on his feet. Shanks it over the, <laughs> and then and uh, uh, no, I mean that's what happened. That's what happened. That happened. But that was that is what happened. He like his 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 that plant dumb leg player can't even stay on his feet. His What's plant leg guy? plant leg gave up gave out. Right leg, right left, right left, boy. Jose, listen, listen. I am not above the. Here, let me play the. Shady Freuda, <laughs> Shady Freuda. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not. I, you know, I'm but not gonna pretend. This. I'm not. Pre- I'm not pretending to be a neutral. But like when fucking Jose Martinez fucks up his. I mean, that it did warm my heart. I mean, I can't lie. Riddle me this. NYCFC Forum and MLS Forum is just nothing and nothing and nothing. But NYCFC fans making fun of Philly Union fans. Philly Union beat you. They're in the final. You can't make, They had a better season. I don't get that. How are you allowed to make fun of a team that beat you and then went on? They made fun of it. us. Like, they made fun of us last year. After yeah, but what does we... it say about you? Like if, if they choke, then you lost the chokers. You're even worse. Well, we choked as well. I just don't well. understand. We choked yeah. as well in the Eastern. We had a lead and we 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 pissed it away. Yeah. So why point a finger? Why be like, oh, chokers, you suck. It's the team that beat you, outclassed you, and then went to the final. Wait, do you really not understand? Do I have to explain it? <laughs> I mean, first of all. What I, I do, I, I, I do understand. <laughs> I understand it being very emotional. But I do not understand it. I mean, it that's being what, logical, that's, this is, right? that's what it comes down to, right? This, none of this has, makes any sense at all. It's, uh, it's war substitute, right? It's like tribalism. It's like that they have that, uh, that cartoon. Where this guy is standing around and and somebody comes with a flag that says Team A and he has see here, this is your flag now, right. and he holds the and he just stands there for a minute and then some other guy comes and he has a flag that says Team B and the other guy says, Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's very because true. That's uh, that, that's what it is. This is not this doesn't make any sense. I am I and rarely, I mean, I have a couple, I have a friend who has been on Twitter just like trolling, you know, like all these people that you're reading. I'm not usually like that and I'm not really like that now. I'm not out there like calling people names or whatever, but it's like, I mean, I thought that their gripes, their sour, sour, sour grapes, is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah. After this after last year i think was over the top i thought they should have let it go i mean it's like for a year they went on and on and it was it, that was the narrative like oh if if we if not for covid we would have crushed you and we would have won the cup instead of you and then they did and then they went and they did and they went. no but they didn't though they did not win the cup they, they didn't win the cup no they didn't they went they and they went it. and lost and so i don't know we get a we had to gloat a little bit i don't know we, we still I think got philly the... union's gonna win next year though i can guarantee you that well and then i'm sure we're gonna hear about that <laughs> unless kai <laughs> wagner goes in january kai, wagner, kai, wagner, kai wagner's kai not... wagner's going i heard um Without Kai Wagner, they're probably not good because he Who is else? Who, there he was, is a, uh, I heard somebody else was well, Oh, um, Paxton Aronson's going to Oh, yeah, Paxton well, Aronson's going to, going to foot. I mean, which is he wasn't, other, he was not, he didn't, he former. didn't get that much. He, he you know, he's a long, yeah, that's more bench. of a long term, that's long term project. He didn't get a lot of time. Uh, but there was, um, we'll who see. else? Uh, oh. Anyway, Alejandro Bedoya uh, from Real Madrid, I believe. I think that was. The thing. I heard. A, I think there was a link there. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Alejandro Bedoya was not ready to play. And in uh, reality, though, I don't know why. If I'm a prem coach and I need a goalkeeper, I'm splashing whatever money Andre Blank wants. I don't. I don't really have anything. I am not. Uh, well, 
I guess, yeah, these, these kinds of experiences just color your... I don't really have anything against the Red Bulls, honestly. I don't hate... Uh, I don't really dislike the Red Bulls. I don't dislike Philly, really, as a team. I mean, some of those people that we saw at the stadium, I hope, have diarrhea for a year. But I don't yeah, think yeah, there's the... drunken fans. I mean, you, there's you like... CFC, uh, some of the worst fans in my life sat behind me in the NYCFC game. Some what? Real trash. Oh, 100% NYCFC games. Have all upstanding citizens, <laughs> I don't know. personal fr personal friends of mine, all of them. Um, no, yeah, some. I mean, people behave poorly at these. That's what sports is, right? We're gonna live out our war fantasies. We're gonna we we will behave badly at times. The amount um, of intra fan fighting I've seen here in LA has been crazy to me. Huh. Like I don't remember seeing a lot of that beforehand here in LA within the supporters groups. They're going at each other, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a thing or well, what. Well, there was there used there's been a lot of there used to be a lot of infighting with NYCFC people. Anyway, yeah, I'm not usually invest a lot of time in that, but I don't know. Those Philly people got under my skin a little bit. We'll see. I mean, I have a, like Orlando. I really dislike. Um, also, long-standing Toronto. I really don't care for those people either. I have. I mean, there are some. Some. I have some emotional. And I guess. Yeah, I guess. No, you can add Philly. Can add Philly to that list. Which the only teams you don't, the only the teams you have problems with are teams that can't bring fans to the stadiums. Got it. <laughs> There's no fans to have problems with. The uh, fans. The what? I have problems with. The only teams you have problems. The only teams you don't have problems with are teams that can't bring fans to the stadiums. Got it. Like that's, you know. Oh, is that the is that the pattern? That's the pattern. Um no, I mean Toronto, they have they've they used to be our they used to be really our our boogeyman. Like they've inflicted some pretty painful playoff losses. Uh and Orlando, I don't know. Yeah, that's just kind of a visceral thing. Like even that the purple I don't like. I don't know. <laughs> anyway it's an emotional Orlando, thing. It doesn't have to doesn't have to make sense. If you live in Orlando, as opposed to NYCFC, right now this podcast would be like, I don't get the whole sky blue NYC. I don't. I hate their color. And Listen, stuff. we get lots of. We take lots of. We take lots of shit for some things that make sense and some that don't. You know, like the Man City Farm Team. We're plastic. We have. Uh, we don't have. A Our stadium. billionaire is every more single pure person. Than your billionaire. Every single person in Philly. Not every, but like many, many people in Philly. We're, we're very we're, wanted to point out that we don't that we play in a baseball stadium as if i didn't know that i don't know anyway yeah speaking of which are we have we have we covered this well we do have to end we had to end three minutes ago but what, what, what do you got for me i just have a brief the brief news and really the biggest news of all is that we will have a stadium announcement next week wait a minute is that real i didn't hear this that is I mean, is the announcement, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be playing at City Field for the next two seasons? No, the announcement is that we're going to build a soccer stadium in Willits Point, Queens. Wait a minute, you think that's real? Is that like pen to paper? You think? Uh, this it seems pretty. It seems as real as it's ever as it's ever been. There was. Uh, I remember um, the soccer event in Corona when they were pen to paper in the stadium there eight years. Listen, ago. listen. I think Am you know Amazon made an announcement they were going to build a thing and you know like i'm not City. saying there's there's many people who are like i believe it when when the when on kickoff when there's when they when the ball gets kicked off at that stadium so any i certainly uh, uh understand any kind of skepticism any kind of uh, any kind of whatever but as of today there was a uh, a zoom video that was shared uh, of the Queens Borough president basically sort of casually saying like, oh yeah, we're going to have this announcement. And then other people sort of semi confirmed this, that this, this is a thing that's happening next week. Well, let's hope it's a real announcement because, because that'll be amazing. I wish I good, do. Good luck, I do too. I do too. Thank and you. That's very yeah. exciting. Hope, hope springs eternal. I mean, of, of, of course. Yeah. Okay. Like so but that's it. You're we're done. MLS Cup, American Soccer. Roster's dropping on Wednesday. Tim Ream is going to the World is, Cup. Really? Yeah, and that has been announced by a very reputable source who has oh, knowledge. interesting. Okay, I that's believe the good. U.S. roster, in my mind, I could probably name it because Tim Ream was a big 
Bang. He mark. says the four yeah. center backs are Tim Ream, Aaron Long, Walker Zimmerman, and um, Cameron Carter Vickers. He says those are uh-huh. four. Which makes sense. So no awesome trusty. Probably hey, Scally. Great. Probably Scally's going, right? I would hope because so. Because now that Sam, Sam Vines is because Sam Vines is out. So. Sam Vines is out, but he was never going anyway. And then uh, I would well, say was... that Jordan Pifak is not going. I don't think he was ever going. And we got ourselves a Pepe Sergeant Ferrari up top. And there you go. I mean, that's pretty much it. The rest of the roster will be right to the south. Okay, everybody. Maybe in the midfield. The other thing in the middle is will it be Christian Roldan or will it be... I forgot the other one. Or will it be Malik Tillman? Paul, Paul Ariola, Paul Ariola, Malik Tillman. But we will know on Wednesday the super hip announcement down the street from where you live, Bjorn, at the Steel, whatever, Williamsburg. Oh. Uh, it'll be live on ESPN2. Uh, we look forward to it. So next week we will have two World Cup previews. I'm also trying to line up a special guest for us, the U.S. app. Exciting. See? Exciting. We'll see you guys then. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Bye-bye. Until next week. Bye. 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 <laughs>